Hi folks, I'm Todd and we're making time now. Last night I was thinking that I would like to take this fried apple cinnamon pie fill and this cinnamon rolls and I'm going to wrap up some of the apples in that and put them on the scoff and once they're done take the icing and drizzle over them. I think that would be a pretty good little breakfast but at three o'clock uh, we sat around the fire until 9 and 3 o'clock this morning. Um, I heard it started raining. So I went out and I closed the scoff up. And I threw a couple chunks of wood on there. And it's been raining on and off since 3 o'clock. And I don't know what it is. It's smoking out there a lot. So we'll go out and see what it looks like. And then uh, get the fire going. And then we'll, uh, we're going to cook it in the rain. All right, I, I haven't lifted this up. When we went into bed, I had it up last night. And when I heard it starting to rain, uh, I came out and closed it up. So I haven't lifted it up since last night. And I threw some wood in there. And the wood is mostly burned up. There's still a couple, a couple logs in there. But all the ashes are nice and dry. And it won't take much to get this fire going. Just by lifting it up and stirring it up, I went to get the blower and the wind's blowing, as you can see. And it took off fire and I didn't even use this. But you can see, everything is all dried. And it's been dry and raining since three o'clock off and on. And right now, it's not a real heavy rain. It's a light rain, but it's a nuisant rain. But you'll still be able to cook on this. Your fire is protected and your food will be protected. So we're going to be doing these uh, cinnamon rolls, or apple fritters, I guess, in the rain. So I'll get some wood cut up and we'll get on there and uh, get that cranked up and ready to bake. All right, we got back in here. Got some wood on our fire. We'll let that get a hole going there. A little dryer in here and we'll get our apples opened up I don't know how, how this is gonna turn out um, just gonna give it a try Two here for the wifey, in case these all, if we fail on those, and uh, we'll take them out and we'll put them on the, on the oven. All right, we get this lowered down here a little bit. And what we're going to do, we're going to do an indirect heat. We got this, this is a 12, 12 inch pizza pan. Uh, sometimes I use 16, 12 would be fine for, probably for this. Uh, what we try to do is match it up. If it was real small, then that would hang over and you wouldn't be getting your indirect heat, but this 12 inch will work fine. And we'll put it in there like that. This, this here don't fit good on there, but it'll work good enough for this then we'll put this in here we'll close it up and this is a 21 inch this was uh, same panels as your 17 inch is just stretched out and we'll lower it down here it won't take long to get our heat up. Give it a spin. Give it a spin. It'll give you more even cook. Because it might be hotter on one side than the other. As it spins, it'll go hot and cold. So we'll just... Uh, should be about 15 minutes or so. And should be done. 
we'll keep an eye on them. I don't know. There's a lot of that sauce from the apples and stuff. Uh, that might want to start burning. So we might have to flip them around. I don't know. We'll see. We'll play it by ear. Got a little bit, quite a ways to go. All right, let's take a look at them. I believe they might be done. Take them off here. Bottoms are nice and brown. They look good. Kind of falling apart, but. Said, uh, with it raining out here, we're still able to bake pastries. And with that, with that pan in there, it's making an indirect heat. And I have that cooling rack. The heat's hitting that pan, coming up around, going under that cooling rack. And that pizza stone, putting it on cold, it takes the time for it to warm up. And so that. The tops have a, time, a chance to start browning up nice before the bottoms start burning on you. So we'll get this pulled up here. That stone will cool down and let's go in and put some sauce on them. It's getting dry in here. All right. Some of ain't raw aren't done until you put the sauce on them. Like I said, uh, you look out there, you would have called it, you know, a washout. You wouldn't be able to do what you wanted to do. But with the easy campfire oven, it's not an issue. You still can go on with your plans. I did it in downpours and uh, it protects your fire. Protects your fire better than it. Uh, you can protect yourself from getting wet, but it protects the food, keeps the food dry because it's all covered up. So these look pretty good here. Get every last bit of it out here. Like I said, I made a couple of years for the wifey. KC's failed, but I don't know. They look pretty good. So we'll have to give one a try. Uh, see how nice brown the bottoms are? That pizza stone, it takes time to heat up so the tops get to brown up. So we'll give it a bite here. Ah. Very good. So make sure you get yourself out and try this. If you have a scoff, get out there. And like I said, uh, scoff stands for smoker, cooker, oven, fire saver, and fire prevention. So we just proved it. And uh, heavy, well, it wasn't heavy. It was a steady rain. And we still cooked uh, these beautiful pastries. So get out there, enjoy the outdoors, and make sure you make yourself some time now. Have a good one.